and this is Alex from Gaines. Today I'm joined by two gentlemen, Ilya, who is the COO at GBC.ai, and Will, who is the Chief Communications Officer. How are you doing, guys? Oh, great. Nice to meet you, yeah, Alex. Thanks. Thank you for inviting us. You guys are doing something very unique, actually. Tell us about it at a high level to get started. What we do, it is 100% uh, said within our motto. It's leading blockchains towards intelligence. And uh, we bring artificial intelligence to the blockchain industry. We are the first company who actually integrated AI to the core level of the blockchain. Before us, the approaches were quite differently. There are some companies that use AI on the level of smart contracts. Uh, AI is used for DeFi industry, for lending pools optimization, and for high yields. But to the core level of the blockchain, we are the first one. And it's like what is so novel about our approach. The first thing I'm going to say is when you're talking about AI, I have flashbacks from 2018. Tell us a bit more uh, what's behind the word AI, right? Behind the buzzword AI. Simply speaking, artificial intelligence is on the high level. It's a group of technologies uh, that united by machine learning. And within machine learning, there are different types of uh, how AI can be trained. Specifically within our approach, within what uh, GBC is doing, we use machine learning algorithm for of blockchain optimization for making blockchain more flexible and we allow blockchain to evolve and develop. Right now, blockchains are very solid structures. So if something within a blockchain goes sideways, blockchain has no mean to adapt itself. We actually bring those means and we allow to prevent so-called snowballing effect. For example, if something goes wrong within the chain, right now it's just getting more and more traction. As a result, the chain can stop or has to be restarted. With our approach, if something goes sideways and uh, our pre-trained algorithm already knows uh, what to do in this case, it just changes uh, parameters on the fly and allows uh, blockchain to revert its operation back normal. I'd be curious to hear more concrete examples. I guess the first thing that comes to mind, and I think a lot of us will have experienced it, is the congestion on the Ethereum blockchain. So your system, for example, would be able to notice maybe a bit ahead of time that there's going to be a lot of people using it. And how would uh, the parameters change in order to avoid that? We are focused on proof of stake blockchains. For example, one of the fastest one is Solana. And in the case of Solana, with our approach, uh, the TPS transaction per second is approximately 20% higher with uh, our optimization than with uh, the default configs. So in this case, we can say that we can solve such issues. The best way is not to solve. The best way is to prevent. This preactive approach is what we can actually do. Uh, we cannot uh, prevent too many users sending too many transactions. For example, if some minting happening on the network and so many uh, operations going on at the same time, it's not that we can predict, but we can solve issues like, for example, if there are too many transactions that are uh, being rejected, uh, this we can 100% solve. If there are too many empty transactions, this we can solve as well. And such issues has been happening with Solana recently. Uh, during the last half year, Solana had quite a few outages, and one of them was because the network was spoofed with uh, empty transactions. So, Will, you, you also wanted to, to tell us about something you know very concrete that I think anyone who's been in crypto for a while has experienced how we feel sometimes scared or when the transaction doesn't go through and all these issues, you can solve them. As you've heard, GBC is at the core of the blockchain. So it makes things secure and stable and prevents drop times and makes things faster. One particular example we can give you now is that many of us are using in metaverse and in the metaverse is an experience. If you're in there and it gets clunky and it glitches and it starts to go wrong or it gets hacked or, or your, your $2 million face mask, <laughs> <laughs> get stolen. I mean, nobody wants that kind of experience. So where we may not be actually directly in that metaverse, we are actually directly at the core of the blockchain that is running that metaverse. We bring a better user experience for everybody. 
So, you know, it's almost like, you know, having engine in the oil that makes your car trip go better. I mean, if the engine runs out and something happens, or the oil runs out, I mean, it's the engine's fault and the car stops. You know, so if, if you have a bad experience um, because the blockchain has issues on the metaverse you're in or your NFT platforms, your DAO or, or DeFi experience, whatever you're, you know, whatever you're using, later on it can be healthcare and all these sorts of things that we're talking about now, right? We're right at that core before it even gets that level. We make that experience better for everyone. That also means that more people want to use it as well, of course. You guys will have a token. What will the token be used for? We have actual line of product that will be launched starting uh, second quarter of 2022. The first product that we are launching, it's called Simulation and Testing Framework, and it is an environment for uh, users to run their own simulations, to run their own uh, test nets with their desired configs, to run their uh, configuration script. Plus, additionally, uh, it is possible to run uh, nodes uh, or validators within main nets of public chain with our approach. Uh, obviously, this product will have uh, a use case within our tokenomics. And the next product in our line is AI smart contract audit. It's generally a security audit of smart contract by the means of AI. It's again an environment, uh, a sandbox where developers can test their approach, can test how these apps or smart contracts will operate under very different conditions. How would they correlate with other smart smart contracts, how they are resistible to the attacks uh, that is happening within the chain. And uh, this uh, AI simulation and uh, or AI smart contract audit uh, will be uh, fully utilized with our token. We have another products uh, which are called Bridge Guardian and Oracle Guardian. They are pretty much uh, as they are named. Token will be again 100% uh, utilized uh, within them, and the use case will be obviously for uh, providing additional layer of security within bridges with uh, data purchase uh, on the Oracle Guardian side. With those products, um. We actually have, I mean, the chain, the, the blockchain guardian, the one we spoke about, the original that goes into the core of the blockchain, that is, that's tried, tested MVP. We actually did an MVP with Solana, funny enough. Um, and um, that's ready to go. For, uh, um, and that is integrally part of the simulation product. And that simulation product, full R&D has been done on that. It's going to be released, well, in the next few weeks. It, it's being beta tested. I'll let Ilya tell you a bit about that and who's doing that in a second. But importantly, we're just finishing the user interface, you know, so it, it's browser based. That's how you access it. It's not like an API behind the scenes. Um, DevOps developers, they can come in and, and log into it, you know, use our token to access it. Um, so we're polishing the UI. So that that's gonna, that's literally, you know, maybe a month, a month or two away. And it's, it's finished, it's just being polished. I mean, what's quite interesting, Ilya, is um, who's working with us on that, on the beta. There is Professor Yanovich with his team. He's uh, well known in the field of AI. He's working one of the leading universities and he's been with us for two years already. He has uh, been taking part in the development of a product with uh, simulations and now he and his postgrad students are actually beta testers of uh, simulation and testing framework who will ensure that everything is working fine and all the errors are fixed uh, before the public release. Maybe that's a good time to tell us a bit more about the team and your guys' backgrounds, because uh, especially with AI, since it's such like cutting edge tech, it feels like it's even more hit and miss, right? Uh, either it's going to be exceptional or it's really not going to be so good. Initially, our company was uh, founded by the union of two companies working with, within AI industry. One is uh, Brainis and the second is uh, the union. Jointly, we've had uh, many projects within different fields of artificial intelligence, such as uh, fintech, uh, healthcare, broadtech, tens of projects within uh, different industries. And 
our team uh, of engineers is uh, very strong. And uh, beside that, it is worth mentioning that we are co-founders of ILA. It's uh, Artificial Intelligence uh, Laboratory Association uh, that has 210 companies uh, worldwide, specializes in the field of AI. Uh, speaking specifically about our team, there are two main expertise. Uh, it's the business side and the technical side. On the business side, our CEO, he is a very experienced person with more than 20 years experience within IT and fintech. He has uh, IPOs uh, behind his back. He has ICOs uh, behind his back. Uh, our CTO, who is probably the second most important person in the tech company, is also a very talented man. He is a winner of uh, multiple mathematics uh, competitions. He is a very strong engineer. Well, beside that, again, our team and uh, its expertise lies very deep within the AI industry. That is probably why we have managed to solve this task. All right, awesome. Do you guys have partners except the, the blockchains, which may be more your clients? Any interesting partners that you, you need, that you work with to make all this happen? The biggest recognition uh, that we could actually get was from NVIDIA, specifically in the field of AI. NVIDIA provides most of the hardware for uh, training uh, the algorithm. And we gained uh, such recognition last year. We have won a grant uh, from NVIDIA to do our researches, to run simulations. It was a really big step and really a great point for us to gain like recognition from a major company within the industry. And then another one recently, we, we partnered up with Avata, which has some great um, like wallet solutions and, and, and DeFi uh, solutions. We we're in discussions right now. Have have at least four or five that I think um, I think your community will recognise coming up. Um, can't say much right now because um, I know a lot of people say this, but we literally are just closing them, and we also want to uh, have a bit more of an impact with those. And they are um, pretty diverse group, group of projects, um, well established and listed projects um, out there in the, in the in the blockchain sphere. We work with um, IDAXA, maybe Ilya again, um, because uh, they're a bit closer to his side of the world. IDAXA, it's an uh, international digital asset exchange association. It is a non-profit. It's like association of associations of blockchains. Uh, so 20 uh, blockchain associations worldwide are uh, to join together to form IDAXA. IDAXA was the one uh, behind B20, it's like G20, but uh, for the blockchain, they are working tight with governmental agencies, with regulators, with FATF. We are working with them together to bring our services and to make blockchains uh, safer and more secure for everyone. More recently, we've uh, joined the blockchain um, Australia, because uh, actually um, some of our team is in, like Ilya, for example, is in Australia. Another interesting one is we are a signatory to the Crypto Climate Accord. The CCA is something very important to us, and I think everybody in blockchain and crypto. Your guys' launch is imminent. What's going on with the launch? How are you going to ramp things up? Right now, we have lots of discussions um, going on with various exchanges. We're talking to launchpads, of course. The marketing is really going to start pretty much, you know, early March. We've got some great KOLs, influencers, like real, real, really good names out there that, that, that are behind our project. The ignition button's being pressed and um, we're full, full launch, um, you know, imminently. And, and also what we can do here is our big vision is that we can make blockchains like fully autonomous. We can be like the Tesla is to cars. GBCI can make blockchains fully autonomous and avoid problems. Just one small example comparing it with Tesla's, you know, the concept of big blue ocean, when you don't follow someone's path, but you build your own path and this way you find a really, really, really big field for yourself. It's what Tesla did with electric cars. And uh, that's what we are doing within AI in the blockchain. We are not following someone else's path, but we're building our own path. And as a result, we are getting to the field that is uh, completely empty. And obviously, we are aiming to take this field. Thank you guys for your time today for the interview. It was very interesting. I'm looking forward. I hope, uh, you know, it's going to make all our lives better with less uh, failed transactions and everything. So. 
I'm really looking forward for, for your launch personally. And you. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, guys can like, subscribe, and even drop a comment, ask a question, or head over to their Telegram if you have anything else. All right, cheers. Goodbye. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much for thank you. And thank you for inviting us. Bye.